Uh, yeah, it is uh, the complex problem. Uh, so um, there are some genetic, uh, how to say, predisposition. Uh, quite often, uh, PCOS uh, patient has PCOS mother or some specific sign uh, in father. Uh, some insulin resistance uh, in a lot of family members. So it is partially hereditary. Uh, second point should be um, some uh, influence of uh, environment. Very important, what is the diet of this woman? So if she has very healthy diet, like Mediterranean, for example, um, probably she will not develop PCOS or, for example, she will have time to time not regular cycle and that's it. But if she will gain like 20, 30, 40 extra kilo, uh, the circle, how to say, <laughs> will be <laughs> Uh, yeah, circle is close <laughs> because uh, high body mass index, insulin resistance, androgen level increase, abdominal obesity, increase insulin resistance and producing more androgens and uh, okay, ovary stop to working. So this is the question. A lot of things may influence, uh, but both uh, are important, and environment and genetic. In some populations, uh, PCOS may be detected like 50, even more percent of women, because in this population, women are traditionally has more high body mass index, not move a lot, and probably hereditary also. In some population, it is more rare, for example. So, 